Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how we generally quadruple and octuple our client sales. So when clients come to us, they'll usually come to us with a problem where maybe their website isn't doing so well, or maybe they need a new website, or maybe they need a new marketing campaign, uh, and, and they're just not seeing a good ROI for their investment. And so what we generally are able to do is, like I said, between four times and eight times uh, more sales can be squeezed out of these campaigns and out of these websites than what our customers are, are, are starting with. And I'll show you some of the techniques. We, this is a new website we just launched for Buglyboo. Uh, and, and, and since it is one of our customers, please go ahead and, and purchase your baby clothing from here. That would help our customer for sure. But um, one of the some of the things that we're doing here, you can see actually, um, so this there's this little, uh, it's hard to read here. It says M from Stratford, Canada, recently purchased cool little dude. Okay, so there's these little pop-ups on the side here, and as you're browsing, you'll see this. Uh, it'll it'll come and go, and you'll see these little pop-ups uh, of people that have recently purchased from the website. Now, it might not seem like a big deal, but that actually increases the conversion rate on average between 30% and sometimes over 60%. So there, that's a huge difference, and all of these changes that we add, all of these things that we add to these websites are compounding on top of each other. So this is just one little thing that makes a big difference and why it works is because it's it's a form of social proof and basically people when they come to a new website it's new they don't really know you know if they can trust it or who's if there's anybody buying from it and we we generally try to follow the crowd as a way to basically make quicker decisions make more authoritative uh, expert decisions using kind of the the wisdom of the masses so we're looking at what everybody else is doing to see what's the best choice for us and it helps us know if this is a safe decision because if a lot of people are, are doing it then it feels more safe so um, there's a whole bunch of things I can teach you about testimonials and about social proof so if you have any questions feel free uh, ask me anything you want uh, and I'll, I'll be happy to make a video about that or, or help you out individually so that's one area another thing that that Bugly Boo did is they they want to have something a little bit more unique uh, rather than just having a regular kind of boring looking website they wanted to make it look a little bit more friendly and a little bit more um, more approachable, and that's what the design of this website has achieved. It's just a lot more of a friendly, unique, uh, warm. The, the idea is to have a little bit more of a warm touch to it, which we are uh, able to achieve together with uh, you know a, a really good graphic designer, which I can definitely recommend if you want. Um, but yeah, these are these are the, the the things that we are able to work on. Okay, so what else is is unique about this is one of I'm actually writing a book on e-commerce right now, and one of the big uh, number one reasons people will not buy is the shipping price. You know, they they add three items to the cart or four items to the cart, or maybe just one little five dollar item, and they see a twenty dollar or, or fifty dollar shipping price tag, and so that scares people away for sure. So a lot of people are just not going to make a purchase. But in this case, um, after you know working out a, a good plan, we decided okay, free shipping is is the best way to go. It's not going to prevent people from checking out it at, at, at checkout time on the shopping cart. And there's different ways that, that you can add free shipping. So that's, you know, of course, that's that can kind of be expensive um, if you do it wrong. But if you do it right, you can get uh, a lot more sales on your website. So that's that's number two. OK, so now a few other things that are really important to, to realize. You may, you may not realize the importance of some of these things, but if you scroll down to the bottom, a lot of sites will have this like get you know you know sign up for this newsletter or whatever but nobody ever signs up for these newsletters but it turns out if you're getting something in return then you're gonna you're much more likely to sign up for these newsletters so if you give them 15 percent off or whatever that really tends to work and so we this is this is what i the language is really important here we front loaded the language so we're not just saying something like you know unique gift ideas sign up for a newsletter or sign up for our newsletter. Like we if, imagine if the first words here were sign up for the newsletter. That's what most people are doing wrong, because if you tell somebody sign up for the newsletter, basically 99% of the people or more, yeah, way way more than 99% of the people are basically going to ignore that. It's, it, nobody's going to take you know take action on on something that just says sign up for for X. Um, they want to know what's in it for them, and so basically telling them right away up front, get 15% off. That's what's in it for them. That's what we've got to focus on. Tell them what are what are they getting. This is the value you're getting, and then of course we automate the system so they're actually getting a coupon for that. You know, for when they sign up. So basically, um, that's how to get more subscribers. And you might think, well, didn't isn't this losing them money? Well, not really, because once they've contributed, you know, sent in their email address, they've got 15% off, and of course they're more likely to use that coupon now that they've got it. 
they're more likely to be a little bit more loyal to this company now that they've sent in their email address and more importantly is this customer if they didn't enter their email address maybe they would have hit the back button and maybe they would have never ever come back they would never hear about this company again and this company would never see that customer ever again and maybe that's costing the company a lot of money to bring in the traffic um, so basically by getting that email address now they've got um, an, the ability to build a relationship with their customers and that's key here to to succeed with e-commerce to succeed online it's really important to cross that what I call the the trust barrier or the trust gap if there's a big gap between your customers and and your website or a big gap between your customers and your and your brand you've got to you've got to narrow that gap and that takes time and, and it takes effort and it takes relationship building so if you can get their email address then you can start to work on that relationship and if you have a good relationship with them and they love working with you and they love your products and and you give them great service then of course over time that relationship will deepen and you'll have more and more sales so um, that's that's another area where you you wouldn't really expect it to to maybe add a lot more um, sales to the to the website but if done right a good newsletter campaign and a good newsletter system can really add a lot of sales to the website so there's a whole bunch of other things that we do that compound on top of each other that really add a lot of value and and help our clients make between four and eight times more sales than they would have normally through just normal you know kind of um, do-it-yourself websites or whatever so that's what what we'd like to uh, do for you and and of course if you want to learn a little bit more about how we do that feel free to to ask any questions you have I'll make some more videos I can teach you more and more and more there's lots of really cool stuff um, you know we're at, we're at the leading edge of our, our, our game here we keep inventing new ways to kind of you know beat the competition and you know all that kind of stuff there's lots of really cool stuff that I can share so just ask any questions let me know if this is valuable to you and if there's anything that I can give to you to to really improve your business um, just reach out feel feel free and I want to make more videos and, and help you out more so yeah just ask ask anything and I'll, I'll be here to help thanks guys have a good one bye now